Hey guys, what's up? So, Eastside here, or Un Chico Suave. Um, I'm gonna be doing another palm reader for you guys. So I'm still working with the setup on the camera, trying a different location. This bathroom should have a little better lighting. Um, today I'm gonna be doing high life heavy pomade. I'm gonna stick over here and show you guys the tin. So I've noticed that a lot of the high lifes, all the pictures online and stuff, the the um, stickers on top are usually like off center, just a little bit, and then on the side it says high life. I really love their logo for high life, and it says all the stuff um all the warnings and manufacturing things comes in their standard 3.5 ounce tin and then opening it up it's a nice white color what nice white waxy pomade and then you get a smell of just really nice uh, like coconut and i really like that scent so sorry guys i forgot my combs So I'm going to be putting it into my hair that has nothing in it, just a little tin. Alright guys. So like I said, I really like the coconut scent on this stuff. Some of you guys don't like it, some of you guys wish it. I don't, I've never tried the old High Life Heavy, so I don't know how the scent differs. Um, but let's go ahead and scoops out really nice and easy. Take a big scoop. It, once you get it in the hands, it's super waxy. Like you can already tell it's gonna be very, very waxy. You gotta heat this stuff really, really good before you put it in your hair because if not you're just going to get a lot of white little clumps which I'll probably get anyways try to get it everywhere really hot lately like because I usually don't like the super super waxy pomade but because it's been getting really hot I've been venturing into the wax um I've picked up a few super heavies I think I got granddad's and um and then JC's custom and then I've picked up a few other like they're not super heavies but they're really waxy pomades that do really well in the heat um I got some uh, Dick Tremels. I got the stick, Stiff Dick Pomade. And then I also got JC's uh, Silver Dollar, which is really waxy. And it did really nice in the heat the last time I wore it. This stuff is going to tug and it's going to pull, but I mean, it's not as bad as everybody says it is. At least for me, it wasn't. So I think I've only used two scoops, and I'm just going to use a really small last scoop for the top to seal everything in. Okay, so this stuff is really waxy, so I'd wipe my hands down on a towel really well. And apply soap and lather just little by little. It's still going to come off pretty waxy, like there's going to be little clumps of wax. I'm 
It's a love hate thing with this pomade. Um, for a waxy pomade, it's really good on holding down strays just for a slick back. And I mean, if you do want to slick back this stuff, you can rock slick back this stuff all day. I mean, you can get some really good height out of this stuff. I've already posted a picture on ATP before, and I've gotten really, really good height out of this stuff. The last time I wore it, I was on, on the oxyacetylene section in my welding class. Uh, I wore it for like three, I'd say a good three or four days of buildup. And it did really well. Look, from the first day to the last day I wore it. Alright guys, well, there you have it for uh, High Life Heavy. So, give me a pretty decent pump. It actually has some shine to it, I'm not going to lie. For a heavy pump, it has some nice shine. <sighs> Alright guys, so that's High Love Heavy for you. Like I said, nice 3.5 ounce tin, decent size. You get it from anywhere to 12 to... I think 10 to 12 dollars so I mean I'd suggest picking up a 10 so you guys can they, they carry I know on pomade.com or um, they have the whole high life line so I'd highly advise you guys to check them out I have this and I have well on the way is coming um, voodoo brew one I also have an original voodoo brew two that I might be revealing soon so I'll let you guys know thanks for watching Please like and subscribe.